Okay, we continue this class on 8.2 continuous random variable. So first, continuous random variable, it does not take exact value, but are defined in interval, such as the quantity like length, time, height, mass. So a continuous random variable, it have a probability density function. So it also using notation of fx. So the, the following characteristic are, first, your function always positive, greater than zero for all value x. So your function here represents your probability. Lah. So it always positive. And when you integrate for the lower limit until maximum limit, you will get one. So when you want to find your probability, actually you are finding integration area under the graph. So that's why you need your integration. You are finding from x in between a and b. So you are integrate from a until b. So in the in other words, what is continuous random variable? You punya probability adalah dalam bentuk graph. Okay, dalam bentuk graph yang continuous. So therefore, therefore, area under the graph. So let's say area under the graph from the beginning here until the end here. Your probability are represented by your area. So to find this area, you need integration. So total of probability equals to 1. So in other words, total of area must be equals to 1. So therefore, integrate from the lower limit, negative infinity, until upper the maximum limit we can go, it must totally equals to 1. So this is the characteristic for continuous random variable. So when we want to find some probability in between that, let's say we want to find the probability, let's say, in between A and B. We want to find the probability in between A and B. So indirectly, you are finding this area. So that's why you're using integration from A until B. Integrate A until B for this function, area under this graph. So a bit different, continuous random variable, fx, petit dia, namanya probability density function. So what you're doing now all is continuous random variable, so dia bersambungan, continuously. So for this case, if you want to find probability A in between and B, they are same. No matter you've got equal or not equal, continuous, because they're continuous, whether you equal to A or not equal to A, they are same at that point. So if you're not equal to A, you're also finding the area in between A and B. You need to find your integration start from A to B. So whether this limit is included or not included, the area is same. Alright? So they are same, no matter you want to find included or not. So they are still finding integration from A to B for that graph, area under the graph. So for continuous random variable, no matter you got equal or not equal for that point, we are directly taking that area for that limit. So senang cakap, continuous tu dia tak kisahlah, dia ada equal ke tak ada equal, sama saja. Sebab dia nak cari kawasan. Dia nak cari area. Saya nak kawasan A ke B. Di antara dia. So, 
saya nak cari kawasan T antara dia termasuk A dengan termasuk B sama je. Okay. So when we cumulative, bila kita longkokkan, we call it cumulative distribution function denoted F besar. So, F besar adalah we cumulate its probability. So, dia akan integrate bahagian demi bahagian. From interval to interval, kita integrate, kita longkokkan dia punya uh, probability. Maksudnya, kita longkokkan dia punya area. So, they still using integration. So, in other words, you can see continuous random variable, we are using a lot of integration. The one thing, the main thing you have to remember is because the probability here represent by the area under the graph. Okay, so like I said before, dalam continuous, you got equal or you do not have equal, if equal B, you not equal A, they are all same. As you want to find your probability from cumulative distribution function, kita are akan longkok semaksimal area yang boleh iaitu FB tolak FA. So, ada equal tak ada equal, sama sahaja. Tetapi, kalau hari itu kita buat discrete lain. You ada equal, kita ambil nombor itu. You tak ada equal, kita tak ambil. Kita not included that number. That is discrete. Because discrete, kita kira satu, satu, satu. Graph, graph dia pun satu patang, satu, satu tiang, satu tiang lain. So, equal not equal is very important. Very different in discrete. For continuous, equal or not equal, their area still same. Okay? So, in order to get, okay, from, daripada F ke T, now long code jadi F besar. Dia guna integration, long kan area by area. When you want to reverse the process, you want to get your equity probability density function tied by the F besar cumulative distribution function, you're going to differentiate it. So we will write them like this. F kecil, you nak pergi F besar, you melongkokkan dia punya area, you're still using integration from lower limit up to the interval that you want. By interval you go. So, daripada F besar, nak balik kepada F kecil, the reverse process of integration is differentiation. So, we differentiate F besar, akan tapak balik F kecil.